Hyundai has truly come a long way in the past decade. They have produced luxury, comfortable, affordable vehicles. And in the past uh, five years, since around 2019, they launched the UN division, starting with the high-performance Veloster UN. And they also launched the Elantra UN in about 22, along with the Kona UN. The Veloster UN, Elantra UN, and Kona UN are all internal combustion engine vehicles that are powered by two-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engines that produce around 280 horsepower that basically competed with the likes of a Golf GTI or like a Golf R. And now, for 2025, Hyundai has released their first ever high-performance electric UN vehicle, the Ionic 5 UN. Do you want to guess how much horsepower this Elantra N makes? 500 horsepower. No, more than that. 601 horsepower. But in boost mode, it makes 641 horsepower and 575 pound-feet of torque. The UN treatment is pretty drastic. You see this horizontal red strip across the body color bumper. You can tell it's an UN. You can tell by, these, by this UN vertical stripe along with the roof spoiler. The range actually has been decreased from the Ionic 5 all-wheel drive. So range drops from 266 miles, I believe, to approximately 221 miles. And the car automatically unlocks. Let's check out this interior and fully loaded. Yes, it is around $67,000. And it is powered by 84 kilowatt hour battery, dual motor, all-wheel drive. You can tell that these are the unbucket seats and they are manually adjustable. Let's check out what's underneath the front trunk. I'm also a big fan of these wheels. So these are also unspecific Pirelli tires. You can tell by this urn vertical unibrow right over here. So there is no frunk unlike the normal Hyundai Ionic. You just get a plastic cover, but you can see the battery internals underneath here and your windshield wiper fluid is right over here you can also get this car in performance blue uh, silver white and i believe red but this is the black one so yeah they all come fully loaded and unfortunately it does not have a sunroof because you know you need to save some weight so yeah the door panel is stitched in this contrasting blue stitch work which is specific to the un a car also you have auto one-touch windows. Let's check out the charge port door too. It is in the same location as before. It can charge from 10 to 80 percent about 18 minutes. And you can also do vehicle to load charge. You can also like, you know, charge or microwave, you know. You close it like this. Pretty simple. Let's check out the trunk. trunk space is the same as before so it's about 30 cubic feet you can uh, examine and stare at these awesome looking unbucket seats you do have underfloors you do not have much underfloor storage actually ionic five floor mats unfortunately they're not unbranded otherwise let's go check out the back seat so the back seat just like the Every typical Ionic 5, it does have a recline function. And you can also move it forward and backward. Your air vents are on the B pillar. You have a ton of legroom and headroom, especially without the sunroof. So yeah, I can even recline the seat. You can also move it forward or backward. USB type A, ambient lighting, premium Bose speaker audio system. Look at how wide these doors are. You have about 40 inches of rear seat legroom. Let, let me show you the window sticker. Just take a look at this 5 year, 60,000 mile basic warranty, and 10 year, 100,000 mile powertrain and battery warranty. It does have heated and ventilated front seats and a heated steering wheel, which is kind of rare. And it does have the new 12.3 inch Honda infotainment screen, which I'll show you in a second. And it does have ambient lighting and wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. traction control system this is for opening your trunk your charge port door and your uh, lighting adjustment for the central 12.3 inch infotainment systems 
awesome sun visor. You do not have a digital rearview mirror, unfortunately. So, you know, this is an electric vehicle, right? So why do I hear an internal combustion engine sound? Well, this car has speakers built into the vehicle so you can rev it up. Oops, I accidentally turned on the child lock. So you do have to go to this unbutton right over here. You even have drive modes right over here, eco, normal, and sport. And there's also un mode where you can also record your lap times. And you can also put the car in track mode and you know control your torque distribution by these paddle shifters. You even have a boost button right over here. headlight controls are right over here auto and this is your blind spot monitoring system like any Hyundai product yeah the range is approximately 220 miles let's check out the glove box it's not lined with felt but it's still pretty neat unfortunately I wish this car had a digital rearview mirror and your climate heated and cold seat controls are right over here pretty intuitive you can control your fan speed right over here your volume controls right over here let's check out the home screen let's check out the map directions to the nearest Costco You have FM, AM, and XM radio. And I believe you do, have, see, you do have sounds of nature. So, you know, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different um, musics or songs you can play. This is your recirculation button. Your parking camera button is right over here. And you also have a 360 view so you can see your Ionic 5 Un. This is in performance blue. So you don't need to, you know, curb your rims no excuse for that a very bright camera system excellent camera system wireless phone charging pad USB-C ports yeah this is specific to the end you don't get this center console uh, padding you know you should have a, like an open area and I want to show you the brake and gas pedal situation so you can tell it is aluminum and you can tell you have actual air ducts right over here. Unspecific uh, square accents. So it's pretty athletic. I would say it looks extremely sharp, sharp and also this unstrip across the door, the wheelbase. So truly a neat design. I'm a big fan of these red accents. How about you? Overall, Hyundai did an amazing job with the interior of the Ionic. 5 un and i have to say it's my first time sitting in the unbucket seats and they are extremely comfortable like i'm not kidding you man let me turn off the vehicle overall this vehicle is extremely impressive and yes you can also rev it like an internal combustion engine so yeah overall hyundai did a really good job and i cannot wait to see more un models in the future thanks for watching